Now new at 6, police have announced three arrests in connection with a shooting at a MARTA station that injured a pregnant teenager. Malik Gray, Charles McDaniel, and Stacy Tucker are facing charges. The shooting happened last month at the Oakland City MARTA station, and the injured girls delivered her baby. She and the child are now fine and out of the hospital. New at 6, despite these cold temperatures, more than 100 people gathered at the state capitol to protest several religious freedom bills. And Channel 2's Lori Geary joins us live from under the Gold Dome, where one of the bills just cleared a committee vote. Well, the so-called Pastor Protection Act could be on the floor of the House as early as Thursday. It reassures religious leaders that they cannot be forced to perform same-sex marriage ceremonies. It's one of several bills that opponents call unnecessary. And we know that we are here to turn up the heat on this very, very chilly day. Opponents of several religious liberty bills introduced at the Georgia Capitol braved the cold to come together and protest. The religious freedom bills just keep piling on. We're up to eight now um, and counting. That we come together to dispel the hate and discrimination for all our brothers and sisters, all of humanity, particularly the LGBT community. The group says many of the bills, including the Religious Freedom and Restoration Act, or RIFRA, would allow discrimination against gays and lesbians. But supporters say RIFRA is designed to prevent government from discriminating against people of faith. This group says Georgia is one of only two states that has no statewide discrimination law. That it's time for Georgia to get serious about civil rights laws. There's a lot of different communities, a lot of different people that fear discrimination in our society. Now's the time to take an inclusive approach. The group says a bill to prevent businesses from discriminating based on race, religion, gender, and country of origin is a good first step, but they want sexual orientation added to the measure. But there shouldn't be winners and losers when it comes to civil rights and non-discrimination protection. Now, several thousand folks from the religious community are expected at Liberty Plaza tomorrow. That's when the Reverend Franklin Graham will be here urging evangelicals to get to the ballot box so their voices can be heard in the presidential election. Reporting live from the state capitol, Lori Geary, Channel 2 Action News.